Hi guys and welcome back to Irony Completed. Today's video is going to be my March favourites video because I asked on Twitter if you wanted to see one and I think <laughs> that the answer was yes. Yep, the answer was yes by 64%. So I'm doing a favourites video. Oh no. I had st stuff on my teeth the whole time. So I'm doing a March favourites video. I haven't got very much stuff, so it's probably going to be quite short. But to be honest, I sometimes like shorter videos anyway because I feel like I can ramble and ramble and ramble. But before I get started on my favourites, before I get started on my favourites for March, I just wanted to let you guys know that I've started selling some stuff on my Depop shop. I've been selling stuff on there for a while, but I thought that I would actually mention it because I never have before for some stupid fucking reason. So I thought I'd let you guys know. I put up a whole bunch of new stuff today, and there's lots of nice summer and spring clothes, decent prices, shipping is £3 and there's sizes 6 to 12 on loads of like different women's clothes so if you're interested in helping me out and buying some of my old stuff then I'd be greatly appreciative and I will leave the link down in the description if you guys wanted to check it out and also I created a Facebook page so if you want to go to my new Facebook page and like that then I would appreciate that as well that will also be linked down in the description. On to the video. I have a few makeup products. The first one is a brush, which I got really recently, but I already know I love it. And this is the e.l.f. Small Tapered Brush. I actually did a look, or a uh, tutorial on this look, sorry, and I used this brush in that video to set my under eyes, which is what I've been using it for. It's really good of getting like in those little creases around your under eyes and your nose and um, just setting the T-zone. I don't really set my whole face with powder a lot of the time, so it's absolutely perfect for me. I had a brush that was like a really similar shape to this, but it was like getting super, super old and I decided I needed a new one. And this one was very, very affordable. I got it when Elf were having a free shipping thing. So if you need an under eye setting brush that's super affordable and good quality, then this Elf one. It's perfect. Speaking of e.l.f., I have one more e.l.f. product which I also used in the tutorial. Keep an eye out for that on Wednesday. This is an e.l.f. shimmer eyeliner pencil and it doesn't have a name because I got it in a set but I don't know if they sell them on their website. These are just their regular like shimmery eyeliner pencils. This one's like a bronzy gold. I've got it in my waterline, um, my lower waterline right now. And this is really, really nice. The formula of these is creamy, but not too creamy where it just like slips and slides everywhere. Elf is so affordable. I can't believe the quality of some of their makeup, honestly. This one's even greater because it comes with a sharpener in the lid, which is so, so handy. And overall, I've been really, really enjoying this as like an everyday, a waterline colour when you don't want to wear like a black or anything. Now onto a couple of Soap and Glory products. First one is something else I used in the tutorial that's going up which is the Soap and Glory Archery DIY Brow Bar. I've been obsessed with this. I've used it like a ton lately because I've been really into really fluffy light looking eyebrows as opposed to filling them in with like a pencil. I still like using pencils to fill in my eyebrows more than powders I think because you can just get that precision that you can't with powder. But this is really really handy uh, for traveling and stuff. It's got a wax here, a shimmery like cream highlight and then two di- <laughs> I'm dropping all the brushes. Two different powders, um, one for dark hair and one for blonde hair and I kind of use a mixture of the two. I use this one more towards the tail and then I mix the two together for the front to get it slightly more like I'm dropping everything, feathery look. It does also come with little brushes, which I don't really use the brushes um, apart from to put the wax in, but it does come with a little spoolie brush as well, which is great because a lot of these eyebrow kits don't come with a spoolie. And it has a giant ass mirror too. Overall, I think this is really, really handy and good for traveling. And I really like the quality of the products. I think my eyebrows look super, super good today. The wax makes them stay in place for a really long time. And the powder creates a really nice look for day to day when you don't want anything too filled in. So if you're a powder eyebrow product person, Person, then I think you'd really really like this and you should definitely check it out. And then the last Soap and Glory product that I want to talk about is, I think I didn't mention it in my other, my last month's favourites, I'm pretty sure I didn't. It's the Sexy Mother Pucker lipstick. This one's in Super Nude which is a matte and I use this, I've, or I've worn this at least in a couple of videos. I will swatch it, swatch it for you. I hauled this in a recent haul which I'll link down below along with some other shades but this one has been my favourite out of the shades that they sent me just because it's so nice for every day. The matte formula of these Sexy Mother Puckers is my favourite. They have a matte, a satin and a shine and the matte is definitely my favourite. It just goes on so nicely, so matte, so pigmented and it lasts a really long time on the lips without drying them out. This is a really nice nude if you have like pale to medium skin tones. If you have deeper skin tones it'll be too light for you but it's a very like true nude. It's got a little bit of that pink a little bit of beige not like too much of either one so if you're looking for a new new lipstick for spring 
<laughs> I would definitely suggest checking out this formula because even if you don't like this colour, Super Nude specifically, they have so many different colours and the nudes are in the gold packaging, the pinks are in the pink packaging, the reds are in the red packaging, so it's very, very easy to find exactly what you're looking for. And these are like £9, which I don't think is that bad really in the grand scheme of things. And the last two things that I want to talk about are also things that I'm wearing on my face right now. One of them is a contour product which I used to contour my face today. Keep an eye out for this tutorial on Wednesday, like I said. And that is the Makeup Geek Love Triangle um, Contour Pan. This is for porcelain skin with warm undertones, which is pretty much me. And it's very, very light. It actually reminds me quite a lot of Hoola by Benefit, but obviously that's um, really expensive and also not cruelty-free, whereas this is cruelty-free, and I think it cost me somewhere between seven and nine pounds uh, for the individual pan. It's so, so good. It's very, very pigmented, so you have to use a light hand with it, but it can contour your face absolutely beautifully, really, really naturally. I think that it looks like I have a natural shadow on my face right now. Nothing too crazy. The colour is absolutely perfect for pale skin. So if, like me, you're a super fair girl who finds it extremely difficult to find products that are light enough to contour your face with that don't make you look muddy or ashy or just grey, this one is absolutely beautiful. They have a really wide range of shades in the Contour Pans Makeup Geek as well. So if you have much deeper skin than me or if you have much cooler skin than me they make it very easy to decide because it tells you the undertone and the skin tone for each individual contour pan so check this out it's on beauty bay um absolutely amazing and super super affordable and the last makeup product that i want to talk about if i can pick it up is a colored rain eyeshadow and i hauled this as well in the recent haul video that'll be linked below this is champagne life it's absolutely stunning. I will swatch it, but it is what I'm wearing on the inner corners of my eyes today, although I didn't apply it very, very heavily. Do you see how beautiful that is? It's so buttery. It blends like a dream. It's very, very easy to apply with a brush or with your finger. Look how gorgeous it looks in my eyes. It's absolutely stunning. I really want to check out more Coloured Rain eyeshadows. If you have any colour recommendations, then please let me know what your favourites are because I would love to check them out. So that's everything for makeup. I have one fragrance product, which I talked about in a recent review video. If you want to check that out and enter the giveaway that's also from that video, that will be linked down in the description as well. This is the Smoothie Star... Um, spray, body spray, can't think of the word, it's open glory. I'm wearing this right now and I love it. Smoothie Star range has quickly become a favourite of mine. The video that I'm linking down below is a review video of that range and it's absolutely amazing. I still can't get over how good quality these body sprays are by Soap & Glory considering they're not perfumes. They last so, so long on the skin and the fragrances are so deep and complex. They're not like kiddie at all. So like I said, if you want to check out the review of the Soap & Glory Smoothie Star range, click the link down below. Um, you don't win this in the giveaway but you could win some other Soap & Glory products so go check that out and then I have a hair product that I want to talk about and this is actually my mum's but I have my own one of these I didn't bring it home because why would I need to when she has this giant size right this is the coconut breeze scent of the Philip Kingsley elasticizer and I swear I've had the elasticizer in my favorites videos like three or four separate times now because every time they bring out a new scent I just fall back in love with it I love this product I use it in my hair today I use it like once every two weeks I should probably use it more often and it's a pre shampoo conditioning treatment so it really softens your hair it's good for colored hair and it just leaves your hair feeling really really silky and um, less tangly and in a better condition. This scent is Coconut Breeze. I've talked about it in a different favourites video. I use a like really really cheap sh shampoo and conditioner from Superdrug own brand that's like a coconut um, oil shampoo and conditioner and so this goes really really well with that because it's the same kind of like smell family and it makes my hair smell gorgeous, feel gorgeous. I would definitely recommend checking out the Coconut Breeze scent if you can still get it. My mum got this giant fuck off size from QVC but you can buy Philip Kingsley in all sorts of places including like John Lewis and stuff so check it out if they still have the coconut scent. It's freaking gorgeous. I love it. And the last thing, it's not really a product, it's a thing. I don't know how to describe it. This is like a hair turban from Soap and Glory that they sent me and I was like what? I was so confused but it has a little button right and a little elastic hook so that it makes it really really easy because if like me you're just really stupid I can't do a hair turban with a regular towel maybe I just need to use a small towel this makes it so much easier I'm gonna show you how easy it is obviously you, like flip your hair upside down when it's like wet not dry like mine but like put it on your head twisty twisty twist it and then you just button it at the back and the button means that it's gonna stay on your head all day so if you need to like run around and like get ready and like do things while your hair's drying 
it's up in a turban that's not gonna fall off your head. How ingenious is that? Like seriously, why has no one thought, people probably have thought of this before actually, but Sober and Gloria are the ones that introduced me to it. It's genius, I'm obsessed. You should go buy that. It's so clever. Like seriously, so clever. That's everything for this favourites video. Let me know down in the comments what your guys' favourites were for the month of March. I would love to know what products you were loving and using, or even if you have any products that you didn't like in March, then I would love to find that out too. If you want to follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, or Instagram, then they will all be linked down in the description, along with my Depop, like I said, and my new Facebook page, like I said, and also everything that I'm wearing and what's on my face right now. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and being so supportive in the comments of my last video. You guys are really, really lovely and I really appreciate you so, so much. I'll see you next time. Bye!